What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys been out there building shit. Believe in what God gave you. Taking on projects. Overcoming obstacles. Overcoming adversities. He's persevering through things. Pushing through things. Learning skill sets. And bettering your life. So, like hearing that kind of message? Hit subscribe. Later on in the video, you like what I'm building? You like what I'm doing? Give me a thumbs up. Helps with algorithms. So today's video... It's going to be a little bit different than usual. Usually, I'm able to accomplish something. I show you guys what I built, fixed, created, whatever. But today, it's just going to be kind of a check-in on this Isuzu ramp truck. I'm going to give you guys a breakdown of what the costs are so far and what parts I've ordered to uh, finish this thing out and how much it's uh, costing because we're, we're trying to do this on an extreme type budget. I wanted to get it all mounted up. I wanted to get this stuff all, uh, you know, welded and connected and, and, and beautiful for you guys. But I'm not going to sacrifice quality uh, just to get a video out for the week. Those that are new to the build, I started out with a box truck. I paid $1,500. bucks. then I sold the box for $750. And I bought a car trailer with that $750. Cut that car trailer down and... Uh, put it on here have some axles for sale out from under it if anybody's interested I sold the lift gate off the back of the truck for 200 bucks just for a quick sale to get it out of my way so having sold the lift gate that puts us at 1300 bucks into this build right now if I'm able to sell the axles that'll you know take a little bit more off the budget but this is where we're at so far. I got some big U-bolts. Those were 30 bucks. Go over here to my uh, scrap wood pile. I'm sure I can find something to reuse. Used a piece of uh, scrap wood for both sides. Between the scrap metal that I've got laying around and the stuff that I bought. About $300 worth of metal. Now there's these spring plates from the Toyota that we tore the axles out of Suzuki. Not only did I uh, reuse two of the spring plates, but I also stole this uh, toolbox out of the back of the Toyota. Got this toolbox off of the F450 parts truck. Got those two pieces cut to fit. Just cut this nice thick quarter inch two by two to go across here in the back of the truck. We got two by two quarter inch wall, and then we're gonna weld these in. Those same things that were already on the frame up here. We got another two with a quarter inch Just wall, and then in the center up here. Because once I get it supported here, supported there, then I'll measure up from there to my corners and just make them equal and weld those up. So, there's the basic plan, guys. Believe in your guys' hands. Know that you guys can take on projects like this too. And that's not the complete budget. I got two more things coming. First, I ordered this winch. So that adds another 290 bucks to the budget. And then I ordered these uh, car ramps. And those add another 390 to the budget. Here it is, guys. 2303 currently. I'm sure that I'm going to end up spending at least another 30 bucks on a winch mount at a Harbor Freight. The goal was to keep this budget under what you'd spend on a car trailer in most places. And I think so far, we're doing pretty dang good, guys. So, hit like, hit subscribe. Till next time, keep building shit, guys. Drop me a comment down below what you think.